Hello, I'm James, and welcome to another Sutton Brain Hub rapid review of Addison's disease. Addison's disease, also known as primary adrenal insufficiency, is caused by destruction of the adrenal cortex. In 80% of cases, this is due to an autoimmune destruction, but in developing countries, tuberculosis is a common cause. Destruction of the adrenal cortex results in a deficiency of the steroid hormones it produces, leading to a constellation of clinical symptoms. Before we look at these symptoms, let's first look at the functional anatomy of the adrenal glands. Here is a closer look at an adrenal gland. Your adrenal glands are also known as your suprarenal glands due to their position just above your kidneys. These are endocrine glands that produce a variety of hormones including adrenaline, aldosterone and cortisol. Each gland has an outer cortex and an inner medulla. The cortex is made up of three layers going out from in. These layers are the zona glomerulosa, the zona fasciculata and the zona reticularis. I remember this with the acronym GFR but don't confuse this with glomerulofiltration rate. The zona glomerulosa is the main site for production of mineralocorticoids mainly aldosterone, which acts to maintain blood pressure. Aldosterone acts on the mineralocorticoid receptor found on the distal tubule and collecting duct of the nephron to resorb sodium and excrete potassium. This increases the resorption of water and increases blood volume. The zona fasciculata is responsible for producing glucocorticoids, such as cortisol. Cortisol functions to increase blood sugar through gluconeogenesis, to suppress the immune system and to aid the metabolism of fat, protein and carbohydrates. Finally, the zona reticularis is the innermost cortical layer and produces androgens, mainly testosterone precursors. Deficiency of androgen production here rarely produces symptoms because androgens are primarily produced by the testes in men and ovaries in women. Now we know what steroid hormone is produced by each part of the adrenal cortex, let's look at the clinical features that arise when it is destroyed. The pituitary gland acts in a negative feedback loop to compensate for the deficiency of steroid hormones by over-secreting ACTH. ACTH shares the same precursor molecule as melanocyte stimulating hormone, which increases in secretion leading to the characteristic bronze skin pigmentation seen in Addison's disease. Patients with Addison's disease may also experience weight loss as a result of a deficiency in cortisol. Also, a deficiency in aldosterone causes increased urinary sodium loss, leading to dehydration, decreased blood pressure and retention of potassium. Patients will also suffer from hypoglycemia due to a deficiency in cortisol, causing decreased gluconeogenesis. More generalised symptoms can arise, such as fatigue and low mood, generalised weakness, and nausea, vomiting and pain. The treatment for Addison's disease involves lifelong replacement of cortisol in the form of hydrocortisone tablets and aldosterone in the form of fludrocortisone tablets. That concludes the rapid review of Addison's disease. I hope you found it useful. Please check out our YouTube page for more anatomy videos. Find us on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel to help explain the mysteries of the brain.